And the servants went out and invited everybody they met. A Roman Both here? And Is he a centurion? So the wedding hall was full of people. I'm sorry if I disturbed you, Rabbi, but I would like to ask you a great favor. I have a servant in my house. I've had him a long while, and he's good, loving, more like a son than a servant. He's very sick, dying, I fear. Rabbi, in all humility, you would like me to come to your house? Very well. I will come with you. No, I am unworthy that you should enter under my roof. I know that if, if you say the word, my servant will be healed. I am a man under authority, but I myself have authority over a hundred soldiers, and if I say to one of them, do this, I know that he will do it. And if I say to another, go there, I know that he will go. I need not see, I know. So it is enough that you give the word, and it will be done. Do you hear this man? I have seldom found such faith among the people of Israel. Go home. Your faith has cured your servant. So he's a friend of the Romans. Your orders are changed. But we know we are the chosen people. How can a pagan be worthier than a son of Israel? Everybody, everybody is welcome at my father's table. Rich, poor, masters, servants, children of Abraham and the pagans. Theseus! 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 Come home, it's all right. Marcus is well, your servant is cured. What? Come on. Come on, come and see for yourself. It's all right. I my eyes, it's come cured. On. Theseus! Come on. Theseus! Come to your house. <laughs>